Andrea and Babs Ali from London think they've come up with an idea that could make them millions. The Flexi Shoe Rack is a space-saving shoe storage system, and they want to persuade the Dragons to invest £50,000. If successful, they're willing to give away 15% of their company in return. Hi, Julie. Hi, Chef. Hi. I'm Andrea. This is Babs. We're both joint directors of Innovations Limited. Today, we're looking for £50,000 investment for 15% equity stake in our business. The Flexi Shoe Rack is a um, patent pending flexible shoe storage product for efficient storage of shoes and boots. Perhaps the strongest feature by far is the fact that it's not just a shoe rack, it's um, it's a versatile instant shelving system for storage of various items, such as handbags, books, CDs, DVDs, and other, other items in a home. Okay. The Flex Shurak was launched in July of last year. Um, to date, we've made a turnover of £62,000. The Flex Shurak is presently manufactured in the United Kingdom, but because of a high cost, it's restricted our expansion. Um, we need the investment to increase our operations in China. Andrea will now demonstrate how everything fits together to you. Um, it comes in flat panels, which allows you to um, put together any configuration that suits your space, essentially. And also because um, it's designed to, to be um, put together without tools. So anyone can use it, even kids. As you can see here, the panels simply click together um, without use for any tools at all. The shelves, which, is the, which gives it as much flexibility as, as it needs, really, um, slide in at various levels within the columns. So essentially what you're doing is building, the, um, building columns, going as high as you need to and as wide as you need to. And the shelves simply slide in at whatever level that you need it to be. So this allows you to fit in various items at different heights, including your boots, um, shoes, uh, flip-flops, and everything only ever uses as much space as it needs to. Thank you. Do you mind if I have a close look? Is that okay? Yes, yes please. <clears throat> Andrea and Babs seem to have grabbed the Dragon's attention with their innovative self-assembly shelving system. They need the money to move their manufacturing base to China. But first, the millionaire investors want some background on the entrepreneurs. I must admit, it is very deceiving from here. It looks as if you could blow on it and it'd fall over, but it is quite sturdy. <laughs> it, it is, is quite sturdy, sturdy yes. yes, once it's all connected together, yes. So, Andrea, and is it Bob? Babs, yes. Babs. Um, hi, I'm Julie. Are you guys working on this full time? Yes, we both are. And is this the first business that you've run? Yes, together, yes. Together, yes, and separately, individually as well? Is it your yes, first business, um, Andrea? Well, we uh, both used to have careers. Um, he's longer than mine. Uh, I gave up my career about uh, three years ago. Um, selling stuff on the internet and um, after that I discovered this idea well I came about this idea and we decided to work on it together uh-huh and I presume you two are partners yes we are yeah. okay. okay so you two basically work together so what happens when the two of you have a row okay <laughs> so you want to make these and green. Sure they never do. Just by the way well, that they laugh, though, you can tell that they never do. We have yeah. one up to Except yet. just yesterday. <laughs> just last okay. night. I mean, what, what, what happens, okay? You want to make that in green, you want to make that in blue, okay? How do you sort it out? Um, I think the, well, the most of what we always have in mind is um, our goals, which is to, um, to make a product that people want to buy. And each time we have an argument or disagreement on anything, um, we both remember our goals and, you know, that does bring us together. It's, it's for the kids, it's for ourselves, it's for our freedom. Um, so it just keeps us going. Do you both own 50% of the business? Yes. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And is there a clause in your articles of association that one of you can buy out the other? <laughs> no. No, no. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing. 
Introductions out of the way, it's time to get down to business. Julie Meyer is quick to focus on the product itself. How did you stumble across the idea? Well, um, we, we bought a product, there was a product which we bought, we actually exists in the market and that's um, sold by a big retailer in the country. Um, we bought the product to use in our home but what we found with it was it was inflexible enough and not only that it was very difficult to put together so we saw the problems it had even though it had the advantage of being modular it was not quite as flexible as we needed it to be. What do you think they will do though as you become let, let's just say you take this out and you find it, it finds itself in all sorts of interesting retail shops the people you know that had the product that you originally saw don't you think that they will just adapt their product and, um, and make I, it very I similar? I don't think it will be that simple because um, our product is made entirely from plastic theirs is made from plastic and metal and we have got a patent pending at the moment in this What um, specifically do you have patented uh, patent, or what is the patent pending yes. on? Um, I'll explain to you um, if you look at that that's the back panel um, right. and these pieces this lugs on the sides are at this sort of distance you can right. see they're not exactly on the same height they couldn't be right. because so that of makes the it thickness. more more stable yes yeah. not, it's not only that it's because of the thickness of the panel the middle panel okay um to get both of these to be on the same height these have to be a lot thicker which would use more plastic making it heavier more expensive to make so as far as we're concerned we have made this product as light as it can possibly be right. using just the one product i mean just the one material Andrew and Babs seem to be getting off to a solid start in their bid for the Dragon's Cash. Chef Razul wants to drill down into the numbers. How much do you, how much do you sell these units for? It ranges from £30, £40, £50 and £60. Well, give me an example. The white one, is, what is that? how much is that one? Um, how many that shelves be, is that? Uh, that's a 12 shelf pack and that will retail at £40. That's £40? Yes. Okay. Quite expensive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, at the moment it is. Um, the plan is uh, That's with due to the British. The fact it is. That's yeah, the we manufacture, do manufacture yeah. here, and the mm -hmm. plan is to manufacture from the um, from Asia. We are trying to sell to a big major retailer. Uh, we have approached them, and they have told us the configuration that they would like and the retail they would want for it. Okay. And they want to retail this at twenty pounds. This particular ice cream retailers, um, I'm sure you know that. Um, oh, just tell us who it is. <laughs> the, the most popular ice cream retailer that's in every corner of every street in the United <laughs> Kingdom. A catalog. Retailer. Okay. We are, if, if we're able to get the, um, the price down to what, we, what we're planning, then we would be able to get this big retailer on, on board. And that would increase our, our sales unit by up to 10,000 a year because they can easily sell 10,000 units a year. It's becoming clear now why the couple need to move their operation to the Far East. It's the only way they can drive their costs down and secure a lucrative order. It's familiar territory for Chef Razul, who has reservations. Just, just to sum it up, you need the funding basically to yeah fund an order. We need £50,000, £35,000 of that to fund um, production of the first consignment from China. Okay. And £15,000 of that to fund marketing okay, so you activities. Need 35, so effectively 35 k to fund yeah. a consignment Manif from China. Yeah. Yes. How confident are you that you have the order? Well, if we're able to meet that price, yeah. we're confident with the ball. It's not a major showstopper if they don't get it. We're not just making, um, just manufacturing for the retailer. Um, we, the, the consignment which is coming in, the first consignment coming in, would be partly for the retailer and partly for ourselves. Well, the big retailer, I can tell you how to deal with that right now. All you do is you go and get a purchase order from them, you take the purchase order to your bank and your bank will fund it. Okay, right. there's not a bank in the world that wouldn't fund it. Yeah, okay. yeah. But until I mean, we're able as long to... as it, as long as it is a proper retailer. So I don't I don't understand you know I don't understand why you need the money. You need to to buy some stock you'd stock over and above that. Is that what you need the money for? Yeah. Would I be right in saying it'd be nice to have fifty thousand pounds so you could have some extra stock and reduce the price of it? It'd be convenient. Is that is that the sum of it? I think would in a way yeah. Good sum it would, it would be a fair summarisation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chef Razul has exposed naive flaws in the couple's plans as he digs deeper into their business strategy. Julie Meyer wants to have her say. 
Andrew Babs, I think I've, I've kind of come to a conclusion here. There's a couple of things about this that I think it's just, it's, it's, um, it does sound like you guys have been together for a long time and you, you work it out. Uh, my experience has been with kind of partners in business together, there tends to be kind of a power knot and it gets difficult to bring other people in because they're never ever going to be as close to, you know, the boss as you guys will be to each other. So that, that's kind of, I needed some things to kind of throw me over that and to right. say, okay. I think, you know, there's so much else going on here that I will kind of overlook my, my bias admittedly against that. Right. And then I, then I look at the, the kind of patent thing and I say, you know, I think it's clever and well done for having thought of this. I'm not too sure. I think actually potentially the more successful you get, the more you'll get clobbered by somebody who says, boy, do we know how to do this and we have, you know, 400 million in the bank, we'll just, you know, roll this out and do it mass market. So I think potentially this is one where you might create a market for somebody else. So there's, there's a, I'm afraid there's just a couple of things here that, I, that leave me thinking I, I will be um, happy to watch your success. I will probably even be um, a buyer of your product, yeah. but I'm afraid it's not for me as an investment opportunity. That's and for so those reasons, you. I wish you well, but I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. It's a blow for the couple as they lose their first dragon. They must now focus on Chef Razul and hope he will see something in the opportunity that Julie Meyer has missed. If you had come to me and you had said, OK, I need £50,000, I've got a, you know, a guaranteed or a cast iron order, I would, have prob you know, I would have probably have made an investment. But it's just a bit all sort of wishy-washy for me at the moment. Well, I mean, for us to expand, if you imagine that what, where I've been so far now is all down to my funding, obviously down to limited resources. For me to grow the business, I need money. I'm not going to get the money from the bank because I don't have a year's account. So the ultimate um, aim is to look for funding elsewhere. And that's where we are. We need money to grow the business. OK, but if you had guaranteed orders, the bank would fund you. We don't have a guaranteed order. I'm, I'm sure we would get it because... Um, well, if you, would get it, if you would get it, just go to the bank and get the money. They would, they would fund that. Right. And on that basis, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say that I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. Andrea and Babs have failed to secure the investment they came for, but it may be no bad thing. They get to keep their equity and they've been given sound advice on other ways of raising the cash they need. Well, I think there's some tricks of the retail trade that you know how to do very well that they clearly weren't following as fast because they haven't done them, right? You're saying, why don't you do it this, then that, then you go here, boom, boom, boom. And I think they were struggling to keep up because I think actually there's something kind of snappy here, but they just didn't present it in a way that made you kind of say, I have to do this. So. Yeah, possibly. Hi, Andrea, how are you? How are you? Nice to see you Thank right you. there. Yeah, Hi, Babs. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Right, you're both grinning, but unfortunately, it didn't go the way you were planning. No. What are your What are your first reactions? Well, coming I out think of the it wasn't too bad, really, that we didn't get it. Mm -hmm. um, knowing we don't need it, it's a good thing. Yeah. Um, get an order, go to the bank, get the money. Yeah. Not too bad. Um, they both like the product, and we're quite pleased with that. So for us, it's something to take away. Now, like you were saying, even though it was a, a no, yeah. it was kind of a no because you don't really need the, the dragons. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. that's got to fill you with a lot of confidence, actually, hasn't it? It does. It does in a way because it helps you that um, you know we have put a lot of hard work into it, mm. um, and we know what we've achieved and we know what we can achieve. Yeah. Uh, but you know, sometimes you feel, oh, I still need the dragons to do me, do do that for me, get me over that. Yeah. But um, I think it was. It does give us a lot of confidence that we can actually go out there and do the rest of the work we just started. So it's good. All right, well, listen, I'm sorry you didn't get any cash, but thanks ever so much for coming into Thank the den. So much, Hope nice. it wasn't a wasted journey. Thanks for no, having us. No, Fine, no, and no, off no. you go. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks, bye bye. Cheers.